what it do, it's almost a crucial boy, Teddy Chunk Chunk. And we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is a muck bang! Today's DCC family, as you guys can see by the title and by the thumbnail, we got Shaq's Big Chicken, the big diesel on deck. We got his food. I saw this, um, actually, first time I ever seen Shaq's restaurant was in Las Vegas, and I couldn't wait to get to Vegas to try it out. But then I heard they were building one in Houston, Texas, and I hopped right on it. I'm actually mad because Nicole did it first, and I promised you I was gonna do it. And I was actually gonna surprise her and take her there, but she ended up figuring out that they, he built a restaurant here, and she did it first. So I'm going ahead and trying it now, but I'm very excited. If you haven't checked out Nicole's review, go check hers out. It's Nicole, of course. Uh, YouTube.com, but listen, I got Shaq's Big Attack, I believe. Um, I believe it's called the the Shaq. It's the it's the one that's the spicy one. So I got the spicy chicken sandwich. I got the mac and cheese. I got the popcorn chicken. I got all of his sauces. So his sauces are uh, a self serve sauce. Why by the drinks where you just pump it in, pump it out. Also got his Oreo shake, and then I got. It's strawberry lemonade. Let's get a prayer to thumbnail. Father God, I want to thank you for this food we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. Mmm. Shack attack. Well, let's eat you guys. Mm. Now we got the thumbnail. We can start putting things down. I want to start open up all these sauces first. And I took a picture of all the sauces he has. Mm. Okay. The fire I can't really get. It's just like flat chips. Um, yeah. It's just like flat chips. So he has a shack sauce, Carolina mustard barbecue, spicy chipotle barbecue, sweet and smoky Memphis barbecue, and then some ketchup, which I didn't get. Mm. I mean, yeah, unless you, as you guys can see, oh, it's like you're eating a chip. What they call that in England, like uh, fried chips in England or something. The sauces are good though. I'm gonna have to give them that. Sauces are good. Let me get some popcorn chicken. Hmm. The popcorn chicken? Mm. Some of it tastes like the skin, and then some of it tastes like uh, it got meat now. But the popcorn chicken tastes like it's from um, like a KFC pro profile. That's how profile has. All right, let's try. Uh, it's mac and cheese. And I heard it has cheese it crust on top. Okay. The mac and cheese is alright. I can see a lot of people liking it. I don't go through this fat. I mean, it tastes and everything real fast. Let me try this burger. Now, this is the main attraction. This uh, is feeling real heavy. Real, real heavy, real thick. Let's give this a try. It smells. Hmm, what smells that? It smells like a Subway sandwich shop. So I ain't gonna lie, the fries taste like, a, like it has a flavor profile of Burger King. The popcorn chicken has a flavor profile of KFC. And I know this sounds weird, but this smells like Subway to me right here. This does. 
Let's get a bite. Mm. Mm. Let's get another one. That's pretty good. I think they got a good, uh, a good patty, a pretty good chicken patty. I don't, I can't taste the spice at all, but it definitely is a good chicken patty. That's pretty good. Um, would I go here again? 100%. Definitely would. The prices aren't that bad. Uh, the prices were like, I think this sandwich was nine bucks. Mm. But now I think about it, nine bucks without fries or drink is kind of hectic. Yeah, that's kind of hectic. Cause this is nine bucks without fries or a drink. This whole meal together came out to $32. And I think $32 was with a tip though. But I got mac and cheese, popcorn chicken, chicken sandwich, Oreo cookie, and fries for that. I feel like Shaq has his hand in everything. <laughs> Every commercial y'all seen, Shaq was in it. <laughs> Shaq was in, what, Shaq's in that, um, what commercial is it? Uh, with the sergeant, that insurance company, he's with them, he's with them, he's with Icy Hot. No oh, commercial, yeah. He's in uh, 1-800, that's the 1-800 general. He's just in so much. And honestly, Shaq is a character because there's y'all know, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Shaq is a DJ. Isn't that crazy? Look up Shaq DJ. And he really be selling out, or selling out crowds. And he's doing the house, he be doing that house music DJ uh, stuff too. He be having mosh pits, he be being mosh pits, all that stuff. Shaq be turning up. He was a police officer one time. Basketball player, a great basketball player. <laughs> one of the most dominant basketball players of all time. This fries need help. I felt like uh, with the fries, he definitely should have made them thicker, you know? I don't know why he's giving these slim fries. It could be his personal favorite. But Shaq, you a big, you a big guy. Everything should be big portion. Everything should be oversized. The customer service was great. Now, um, it is a new restaurant, so, you know, everything's going to be performed to a T, but the customer service is amazing. Saying, yes, sir, no, sir, all type of stuff. I'm real polite.
And every time you come in, oh, hello, welcome to Big Chicken. You say that every time. And I think his theme is, as for uh, things to be big because uh, of the fact that I think like for the popcorn chicken, it was big popcorn chicken or bigger popcorn chicken. It says our exclusive Naked, Naked Truth Premium Chicken is preservative free and humanely raised with no cages, no hormones, and no antibiotics ever for a shack size flavor that's oh so good. Alright. So that's probably why we're not getting them. And I said some of these is like skin, some of these is like that's you can't tell me that's meat in this. <laughs> it's a popcorn chicken. That's pure skin. Look. Pure skin. <laughs> that's why some of these are skin, some of these are is me, but I said okay. It's not no GMO, none of that extra nest. I can respect it. See that one? That one got some meat in there. But this, this is all skin chips. You know me too, country rock, crunchy rocks. Watch. <laughs> too crunchy to be uh. Meat now. Mm. The meat, very flaky. It's good though. Like I said, especially the chicken patty on, on the sandwich. Really good flavor on the chicken patty. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, I don't get why, uh, well, there probably is a lot. More basketball stars just get restaurants. Because, first of all, you don't have people buying just because of the fact that it's you. You know what I mean? You got the money to do it. You have the money to have someone else run it. And then it's just something that's just going to be in your family for generations. I believe um, James Harden has a restaurant out here, nightclub slash bar or hookah lounge slash restaurant. I don't know. It's called Thirteen. No, is it? Yeah, it's called Thirteen. I've been to the club side of it. It's club lit. Never ate there yet, though. For the people who are wondering about the spicy challenge, this is not even like a oh Dalvin, you can take heat. None of that. This just has no kick to it at all. It is using our pepper jack cheese with spicy coleslaw and spicy chipotle. I'm just get that in for the decoration, but I'm not tasting no spice at all. <laughs> and not because I can handle spice, it just, just don't taste it. Also, inside this uh, restaurant was a bar, though. Now was a uh, pretty decent scene, especially for a burger shop. I feel like you just don't see Bars and burger shops, but now I think about it, I went to Guru and they had a bar in there too. Guru Burger. <clears throat> restaurant, yeah, was restaurant was real nice. All types of different people in there. I feel like, uh, Felt like the restaurant needs more. Uh, I don't know. Well, restaurants who have little on the menu are way more successful. But I felt like a little bit more on the menu would do it nice. 
He did have this huge, cook huge cookie that I saw. I wasn't gonna try it, but I didn't try it. Oh, you know who did a review on this? Dame Drops. Uh, these are like super official. And I think he said, I think he said it was kind of hectic for for the uh, the mac and cheese as well. I haven't watched his review in a minute. I haven't watched his channel in a minute. I gotta watch his channel. Overall, you guys though. It's a good experience. Like I said, great customer service and great customer service will go a long way too. I want to say it makes the food taste better, but the food is like, it's not great, but it's not, um, it's not nasty, but I'll still go there again because of the environment. You know, I really need him to make these fries thicker. <laughs> it's all for fries. And then also, I think I saw a review because you can get these uh, loaded and everybody says it just comes out soggy when you get them loaded. Unless you're eating them right away. But, shout out to Shaq, man. Big things happen for him. That man has money in everywhere, every place. I think he even bought uh, ring doorbell. He says a story about one time he was trying to get security for his house and their uh, best buyer, one of these, um, like a radio shack was trying to tax him like 20, 30,000 foot to set up a security system. He was like, oh no, nah, you got me messed up. And then he discovered ring and just ended up buying that, put that in. And then when he was out of, uh, out of the, out of town, he ended up getting a doorbell ring. And he saw that it was uh, someone uh, at his front door. He was like, what? I need to invest in this. You know, and I should become a partner in that company. Or ring doorbell. And then like, I think he showed, sold his share, but that made him, that, that, sold, that sell alone made him a couple mil. I think when they sold it to Amazon or whatever. Shut secure for life. I'll be watching them all eight, uh, TNT. He's lightweight childless though. <laughs> he be going at it with Charles Barkley. Speaking of basketball, man, how about those playoffs? Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Mm. The Lakers. Right now, currently, at the time recording, they're one and all. If they beat uh they beat Golden State, they may have a real shot. And if they do, if LeBron wins the championship, GOAT talk. He's already had a lot of goat talk, but he deserves a lot of goat talk if he was in a championship. To be able to, because this is not a sweet championship. He actually had a hard, this will be a harder path because um, he faced the number two seed. Granted, they're all young, but that's actually a positive. They're young energy, young legs, not that many miles on them. He defeated a, a, second, uh, a second seed. In the Memphis Gri the Grizzlies, then to beat the Warriors, a dynasty. Everybody know that Warriors are, are definitely a dynasty. Got one of the best point guards of all time within Seth Curry. And then, um, and I know some people are gonna argue with me about who they think is the best point guard, but I said one of the best. And then, um, who else? And then he's gonna have to face uh. KD or uh, or Denver, Denver the number one seed with a two-time uh, MVP reigning, uh, two-time MVP uh, player, or facing Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Chris Paul. Kevin Durant being one of the most elite players in in the game right now with a pure shot, and Devin Booker being clutch. 
and CP being labeled one of the top point guards ever to, to be in the game. So, but then, that's just the West. If you get through all that, they have to face the best in the, uh, in the East. Which would be crazy if it's, uh, well, I ain't gonna lie. What I would like to come, well, obviously I want the Bucks to come out the East. But what I would like to see is New York or Jimmy. The reason why I say that is because New York, I just know the energy will be crazy because you New York fans are going to go crazy through the roof. New York is just, you know, they've been longing for a, for a W championship. And then, um, or the Heat, because the fact that the eighth seed made it to the championship will be nuts. And Jimmy is hoping. But more than likely, it's going to be a Celtics or a, what's their name? Or Philly, the current MVP wouldn't be, but I don't know. Jimmy Hooper, he is Hooper. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm procrastinating, prolonging it. I would eat more of these things, but like I said, it's just a lot of it's a lot of skin in here, a lot of skin. But let me go ahead and get some of this. It's less skin. But big chicken, give it a try. If it's in your state. Like I said, first time I had it, I mean, first time I seen it was in Las Vegas. This is going to be one of my first reviews once I got to Vegas. Doing a mukbang, but. Hmm. I better hit it Houston. Shaq and Spanner. The reason why I'm drinking out of the shake is because having all this mixed with a shake just be happy to me. But I'll take a sip, though. I'm sure it tastes good. I already took a sip. At the restaurant, I'm not gonna lie. It's called the diesel. Um, it says one diesel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A good classic Oreo shake, man. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All this at a chat chat. That is ZADYCHUNKCHUNK. Let me know who's your GOAT in the NBA. I love to hear the debates. I ain't gonna lie. I'm putting respect on LeBron's name. LeBron got my title already. He already got my title. I know a lot of y'all, I mean, a lot of, everybody, a lot of people say MJ, and I understand, I respect it, but I just really didn't grow up with MJ like that. I grew up with LeBron. Yeah, I was born during the MJ era, but grew up with LeBron. That's my goal. But um, ZCC family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it!